special agent Rob Price is here. Glad to be on the Cryptic Cowboy Show on the R Files, the new R Files. Um, it's a real great pleasure to be on the Cryptic Cowboy Show with Scully and Sloppy. Woohoo! Sloppy. Um, um, yeah, so um, the new R Files. Uh, I was working as a logger in a Scottish forest. Um, I was saving up money to go to school to become a special agent um, and uh, one day when we were busy logging after after a busy day of hard work logging in the Scottish forest uh, me and six of my co-workers were um, heading back home we were driving back home in a pickup truck and uh, suddenly there was a, a bright light that just ahead of us and we drove we stopped well my co-worker stopped the truck and uh, I, I don't know why, but I came out of the truck and I was drawn towards the light, you know, a, a real bright light. And, um, you know, this, this was a real strange light, you know. I mean, I mean you hear a, bit, a lot of people have de near death experiences to talk about a bright light. This was something similar. I mean, this was incredible. I was just drawn towards a white light. <coughs> I heard uh, the engine roaring off the pickup truck as um, my, my, my six co workers sped away in a pickup truck. And I just hear the wheels, you know, skidding away, and they were scared. They were real scared, you know. Anyway, um, um, uh, um, I forgot. To say, um, when I got out of the pickup truck, uh, that uh, so it, it was Mike. Mike was driving the truck, and my co-worker Mike. And when I got out of the pickup truck with a bright white light. Dallas, he was telling me to get back in the truck. Um, so I don't know why, but I left the truck and I just—I was drawn to the white light. I approached the white light, and um, a beam of a beam of light suddenly appeared from the craft and knocked me to my feet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean. Um, um, so, like I said, the other six men were frightened and they left. They heard, they heard the truck speeding away. Um, so, um, I, I woke up in a hospital-like like room, similar, similar to a host, some sort of hospital. And, and, um, uh, and I was being observed by these short, bald creatures. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. I, I don't know what happened, but... This was white light, you know, knocked me to the ground and woke up in, ho in, in what was like a hospital. And these um, short, bald creatures were observing me, man. Oh, yeah, it was real, real, real shocking. Oh, yeah. Of course, um, it was grey aliens, man. Oh, yeah, aliens, man. Grey aliens, yeah. So, um, so I picked up an object because I was scared. And uh, these creatures, the grey aliens, backed away. <coughs> um, so they held up their hands and they backed out of the room. I walked out of the room and I found another room stranger than that room. Oh yeah, man. A man came up to me wearing a helmet similar to an astronaut. He led me to another room, and there were people like him that also looked like astronauts. Um, oh yeah, man. So when I woke up, I was naked in a telephone booth. Oh yeah. So um, I called my brother, and he came to pick me up. Um, I know it's hard to believe, man, but I was abducted by aliens, man. Oh yeah. Aliens, man. Aliens. This is Rob Price, a special agent. This was the reason why I became a special agent because of you know the truth. Now that I was abducted by aliens. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. So Fox Script the Cowboy family on your show. Um, Scully, you look beautiful and sloppy. Session. Um, all the best. This is special agent Rob Price, over and out.